Mia is one of the up and rising stars of Japan, arguably the second best player in Japan right now behind the GOAT, and we know who the GOAT is. Uh, he's been doing absolutely incredibly, won some interesting matchups that I know Game & Watch players otherwise have struggled with. We're going to be watching a couple of his sets as he got second at my Suma Top 12. Okay, so Mia lost to, oh sorry, I can't see it. So Mia lost to T30, which that tracks because I know T has really good records with Meister as well. So lost at ninth and then beat a lot of players. He beats Rarukun, Luigi. Oh, okay. Oh, he's that guy. Yeah, I heard of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard him. I heard him. I've heard he's like top like five on the Smash Mate. He beat Rarukun and then ended up beating Yoshidora 3 2, Neo 3 0, Riddles 3 1, Gak 3 1 before falling to Akala, who is the GOAT. Because we already said we know who the GOAT is, clearly. So we're going to be watching two of Mia's sets versus Riddles, and I'm not sure who I want to watch the other second one yet, so I'll figure that out, but we're going to be watching the Riddles one first. So the interesting thing about this set is I know that uh, Riddles has a really good set record with Meister. Um, like, very good. But again, I've all, from my last video on Mia, I was like, oh wow, he plays so different. So it's going to be interesting to me what he does differently than Meister or how he deals with Electric a little better. It already looks like he's using more Chef. And okay, got hit by the aerial hit. He was in the air, I guess, from the up B. More willing to Chef Ledge Trap already. Mia's up Bs, not out of shield, but just like hit someone for being in the air are like so crazy. Right, like he will constantly go like back dash up B. Oh, you're gonna jump, jump up B and just catches people with up B. Not so much waiting for them to hit shield, but just being completely content to just be like, oh, you're in the air, up B and just hit them for it, which I really like. Oh, Riddles probably had a chance to get uh, a command grab there, but didn't know when it would happen. That's a back air. Recovering versus Game & Watch is very difficult. Oh, not getting it there either. Ouch. No, it doesn't combo. And this advantage state is going to be so intense. I feel like Mia like gets so much out of his combos in advantage state, unless like something super awkward happens like that. But like even then, that was still 36%. Down throw. Messes up the electric. That's not like Riddles. Riddle's trying to read the back dash. Again, this is going to be so important when it comes to Kazuya. If you watched my How to Beat Kazuya video, you already know this, and if you didn't, hi, welcome. Um, so obviously, one big thing about Kazuya is electric is committal, for whatever that means. So a lot of the times, if you try to swing on Kazuya and he electrics, the electric wins. So the option against that is to back dash, because then Kazuya electrics, and you back dash, and then you dash forward, and you hit him. So then the Kazuya's response is, keep dashing forward and then electric wherever you are. So Riddle starts here. Mia is in the very center of the stage. So look at how far Riddle swings behind where Mia was to overshoot. And Mia said, I'm just gonna keep dashing backwards and then get the hit. That's really demoralizing as a Kazuya player because he's like right about the overshoot chance. And then now it's going to make Riddles doubt how far he has to overshoot and a bunch of other difficult decisions for him uh, in a matchup where, I mean, Game & Watch really advantages him super hard. His Game & Watch's advantage is the best or second best advantage in the game behind Mithra. At worst. At worst, it's second. Does that move? Fucking hate up air. Yep, and throwing out his good frame data. Not doing an up air, trying to catch a air dodge, but the forward tilt hits anyway because more red air for Game & Watch is super good if you do it like that. Because the later you can uh, have the forwarder hit the ground if the opponent doesn't react, uh, it's super plus. Ooh, the up tilt? Interesting. Good DI by Riddles, though. Holy shit. It wasn't ready for the landing hitbox. I love the attempt to double jump side B or footstool side B. I'm not sure. Yep. And that roll distance is so... Are you dead? I was going to say, if Kazuya dies at 95, I want my money back. But yeah, the chef here at this roll distance is super, super important because it beats roll, right? Uh, and then if you ledge jump there, Mia just stops and then ends up forward smashing you, so. Yep, advantage. That's a down smash, up smash. Because again, even if you're on platform not actively getting hit, you're still in disadvantage because Game of Watch's up air is ridiculous. That's game one for Mia. I don't know if I like this choice. I know Game & Watch, one of his best stages, if not his best stage, is Smashville, and I don't know if that changes for Hollow Bastion. I assume it does because it's a little bit bigger, like wider um, of a stage, so like the opponent can camp a little bit better. Or 
Chef is so absurd. No double jump right now on Riddles. Had to immediately up B if he wanted to do anything about that. Gets a little bit more damage. 99% though, so right before Rage, I would have stayed in the bubble for half a second more. Oh, is that, that's not going to kill, right? Okay, good. And yeah, this is a super important reaction, or not reaction, interaction, is that like back air and nair, which are great moves for Game & Watch, do lose to Electric because Electric is invincible. Um, so that's, I think, the big benefit of Kazuya in this matchup is I know that Kazuya can electric through Nair, right? But Mia is just not aggressively Nairing almost ever, and if he is, he's doing it like exactly like he did here, where it's a little bit of a shallow Nair to beat the immediate electric, um, and he's just trying to basically space around the Kazuya more than he is trying to get like the final hit of Nair, because this is still safe as hell. The forward tilt pullback made electric miss? Oh, he, like, pushed him. Weird interaction. And you're gonna force him to go high, and then it's still a mix-up if you go high, baby. Because Riddles has got punished a couple times for air dodging, so I don't think he really wants to. I'm not gonna be able to get the Nair there because of the platform height. The fuck? How'd he get up back tilt? And now suddenly Mia's in the lead. Mia said on a Shogun video, his favorite move is up air, and Shutone has said that since that, every time he get hits, he gets hit by up air, he's thinking I'm getting hit by his favorite move. That's hilarious. Shadow Smash was huge, which it is. We all know it's big, right? I mean, he does side B into it. Well, up in the middle of the. Uh... Command input, uh, special, the command input B move. And again, going for like these shallow nares and like pullback nares is going to make it a lot harder for riddles to get uh, electrics and neutral. And the only time Mia does do an aggressive nair, which is here, is after he already locked riddles' shield down with the forward air, so he knows that he can't electric. And if he tries to, then the nair is going to come out first. So, really, really good recognition. Like, that's the only time I've really seen a super aggressive nair. Uh, by Mia, and that's gonna, oh, uh-oh, the chef gave him Rage Drive, I don't know if I like that, doesn't get the combo, that's the first laser I've seen, I think, oh, ouch, near back tilt, you're dead, no, he's not dead, you wanna know why, if you are at a lower percent, then Kazuya, you get to control the Rage Drive just a little bit, or maybe a little bit more. And so Mia held all the way away, knowing that regardless he would die, so instead of trying to DI in and influence it to go in, he says, oh, maybe you're gonna be off stage, and Kazuya dies first. Super smart recognition by Mia. That had to have been on purpose. There's no way it's not, because why the hell else are you holding away? Riddles knows he doesn't have to hold that far away. So I'm assuming that is Mia's influence. The influence of Mia. So smart. That's why he pops off, right? Otherwise, you just kind of laugh. No, Mia used the wrong color. Riddles is going to win this game. And I'm not being... And I'm not joking. Riddles does win this game. After seeing the color that Mia has been, it's so awkward to see this color. But yeah, really good DI recognition here by um, Mia. Knows that he can like land on this platform, but it's super awkward to cover it. And if Riddles immediately just jumped on the platform, then Mia would have just DI'd away and knows that he would not have been hit by it. So still gets 42 damage because, you know, it's, it's Kazuya. You're dead as fuck. Super dead. I like the switching of the DI at the last second. Yeah, I feel like just a lot of people don't have that DI recognition that Mia just had in terms of the combos. I feel like it is a super, super, super big deal versus Kazuya. Because um, making his combos harder, like technically if he gets it, he gets it, right? He could have like, you know, landed on the platform and then side beat him or some shit. But, um, oh my god, he got the kill. As I was talking, he just killed him. Again, that Nair uppy. He's so good at just cutting his combo short and understanding, like... I just want you out. He he absolutely, like, Mia's combos are amazing, right? They're so, so good. And he does so much damage. Uh, but he understands exactly when to kind of go for advantage state over um, true combo, right? Or, like, better position, right? And again, here, same thing as I talked about. 
Mia goes for this forward air, and again, only goes for the aggressive nair when he knows that Kazuya does not have an option to actually electric through it, and then gets electric afterwards because Riddle's guess is right. But, um... Oh, wait, that just seems like BM. Is it just me, or did this seem BM? Like, this is fine, but the backdash chef just seems BM, because if you're going to read that, you might as well go for grab, I don't know. So glad I don't really work... He's taking some notes from Meister! This was a Meister ass kill. That electric hit really high. That was kind of unlucky for me. Gets the Nair. How much damage are we getting? I don't know if Kazuya SDIing down in a way is correct. I mean, that's what Riddles is doing. Nice recovery. Almost died, though. Um, but I know most characters want to SDI up. He must get a hit and kill him on the center plat. He's dead because he went to platform. Yup, you don't go to a platform. Like, I think overall, Rills is still playing really well, just Mia's neutral is so different. Meister is a patient player who will mash guesses at your face when he has the opportunity to. Mia only seems to be aggressive in situations where it absolutely is appropriate and he does not risk the random guess. At least from this set. I'll see you in the other set that I watch. But like, it really seems like he's like, I'm going to set up, I'm gonna do weird things. I'm gonna catch your movement, I'm gonna catch your jumps. Um, whereas like Meister's like, I'm gonna nair on the ground and you're gonna get hit by it, which like works a lot of times, but also doesn't work a lot of times. Oh, nice dash attack, should be dead. What a laser by Riddles, that was so good, but he's still in disadvantage. Now he's like actually dead if he gets hit by anything. He didn't, get, he didn't die. That advantage state was like 30 seconds. Really, really good stuff by Mia. Because again, here, if you stay below your opponent, right, you're forcing them to pick an option, and then you get to react to whatever the option is. Like, Mia knew that the only option potentially would be air dodge here uh, after the forward air, because otherwise you're just going to miss the ledge. And I think you might have missed the ledge regardless if you got hit. Uh, like, maybe it was just too far, but Riddles has to go for it. Oh, Riddles dropping his combo too. Trying to up you in the middle. Like, it's really funny. Like, it's interesting. I feel like a lot of people associate speed, like, Mia's playing really fast, right? With uh, aggression, right? They're like, oh, you're moving fast in, like, a cre in a scary way. That must be because you're, like, running at me. But Mia's moving fast, typically only in advantage, and then is making very calculated decisions in neutral. But, like, his advantage is insane. Beating him. That was unfortunate. But also, it seems like at this point, Riddles is tilted. Like, some of his advantage is actually really passive. I mean, it's just like, oh, you're at the ledge? Chef. You're at the ledge? Dash attack. But, like, I feel like Mia is so disciplined that, like, he's not mashing into something here, right? Like, if Riddles drop shields or spot dodge, he's going to react to that and, like, dash away from the threat of electric. Sees the roll, walks forward, and tries to grab it. Because walk forward is good in general here, because if Kazuya uppies, it'll whiff. If Kazuya... Drop shield electric, it'll whiff. If Kazuya drops shield, like, he would have to like dash grab him. So, I feel like Mia is making really calculated decisions based on what the opponent can do. And it's working really well. Because like, Game Watch has the range and the moves to kind of play awkwardly outside of the range of a bunch of characters. And he's doing it really well. And it's leading to a lot of success, clearly. As we see him do really well. And have great success. Yep, baiting out a Rage Drive. You're absolutely going to lose it there. Jeff is broken. Riddle Shiver Cobra High most of the time? He is. Damn, Mia played that fantastically. Like, just overall played so well, made so many good decisions. The neutral was incredible. Damn, okay, let's see what second set we're going to watch. So the second set we're going to watch is... Oh, God, I need to not full screen it. Uh, Yoshidora versus Mia. Yoshidora, obviously one of the strongest players in Japan, uh, but Mia taking the throne, because for a while I feel like Yoshidora was arguably the second strongest player in Japan, especially like intra-Japan, um, and Mia has absolutely taken that crown from him. So this set does end up being 3-2, uh, but I am curious as to how it goes, because I know that a lot of people are like, yeah, Yoshi beats Game & Watch, and Yoshidora is obviously the GOAT, so... Like, I want to see the difference in how he plays neutral, he being Mia, uh, in this matchup. Oh, you're dead? That was so good, dude. 
It seems like he's going for a lot more back airs and stuff because he's less worried for electric, so he's more willing to throw out like short hop aerials. But either way, look at this advantage, dude. Waiting, trying to up B, couldn't find a good spot to do it. Gets it there, but Yoshidor grabs the ledge first. Yeah, Ford is gonna kill there. Dude, I don't know why so many American players give me shit for thinking Game of Watch is top 10. It's crazy, Game of Watch is broken. It's crazy to me that they don't see it. Like, actually, um, you know, his matchup with Fox is supposed to be one of his best matchups, and, like, he doesn't even, like, Maestro doesn't even win. It's just, like, that's because Light's stupid. Like, Mia, it looks like Mia's mashing a little bit more in this matchup because you don't want to just be waiting the entire time because Yoshi's waiting game is better than Game Watch's. So he's just, he's more so trying to find opportunities. Um, but still in, like, a relatively safe way with, like, back air and stuff because back air is going to be a little bit harder to whiff punish uh, as Yoshi. Oh, he got the back air forward smash there? Crazy. Recovery. Neutral got up, not gonna be the right timing. Back air, absolutely gonna kill. Game of Launch is better than Joker? Um, probably not. That's a lot of damage, Jesus Christ. Oh, dude, that forward air was so good. Oh my God. Recognizing that the drift was going to be drift back and not, cause you could have just like full hop forward it on the platform, but I think Mia just read one step ahead there. But Yoshidora is up 86 to three. Wow, uh, those combos are so good by Yoshidora. I love that he delays the nares, dude. Okay, near back air, expecting no uh, up or no double jump. Those eggs are so good, making Mia pick an option from so far away. It's actually crazy. Air up air, up air is just, br up air is absurd. Yeah, like I'm wondering what Yoshidora banned, because this stage seems really good. And again, I think it's Game of Watch's best stage overall. So yeah, Bomb gonna get the kill there. Let's see how Mia plays with the lead. In shield, which is correct, because you can just up be everything. Case in point. Yeah, a little bit more willing to mash there because he understands that like Yoshidora's or Yoshi's like quick options are limited to Nair and up air. So if you're in front of Yoshi and a little farther away than where Nair is, it's rough for him to do anything. I love that up air because Yoshi has no double jump now. Gonna just down B to the floor, I'm pretty sure. No, Yoshidora is so patient. I wonder if the Dora in Yoshidora is like Yoshi Dragon. Because if so, that is a very funny tag. Okay, gets another Nair. Back air. Yoshi has double jump, but now he does not, and there's going to be a lot harder to recover. Gonna need a good air dodge. Yoshi did not land, so still needs to recover, but Mia jumped out just a little too early to try to hit the original uh, falling down. There's another up air. Probably wanted to, I think it was baiting up B here to see if Yoshidora would air dodge or double jump. Doesn't get it though, and then the parry on that forward air is insane. Ouch. And yeah, if you ever extend too early in disadvantage, or sorry, in advantage against uh, Game Watch, just downer comes out. Whether they're just trying to avoid your movement or uh, hit you. Yeah, the jump back is going to lose to that. That's why, like, that specific interaction is probably why you're seeing Mia go for a lot more nares, is because it's really hard to beat this without being extra aggressive. And if you're extra aggressive onto Game Watch, you just get upbeat. So gonna be a, a lot more aggressive with his nares, especially like trying to get out of the corner and stuff than he was versus Kazuya. Artemis, I don't know. I'm not really concerned about when a new Smash game comes out. You really got a two stock? I cannot believe that Mia got a two stock in this game. I love the little bit of patience after these like up airs when Yoshi has a double jump and like trying to bait out air dodges and stuff and then just suddenly going, gotcha. Cause no double jump, could have air dodge, could have down beat, but like even if he's wrong, he's probably fine there. Game three, back to PS2. I think PS2 is a really good game watch stage, but I also think it's an absolutely absurd Yoshi stage. And again, Mia, one thing that Mia does really well is he recognizes when the SDI is crazy. Like you saw how high Yoshi got there. And especially most people do SDI up and then hold in. And so Mia just says, fuck it, up air. I'm just gonna advantage state, right? And still gets pressure, right? Like this is technically all the same advantage state. And there's the up E up air. It fa kind of falls out there, but again, this is still the advantage state because of the one decision to just be like, Nair, up air, fuck it, you got out, whatever. Like you got out, it's fine. Like, I don't know. Mia's decision-making is really, really clean. And obviously, Game & Watch's frame data is absurdly good. And Mia is abusing that, right? But I feel like there are a lot of levels to when he is choosing his moves. And, like, it's really thought out more than, 
really game planned. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like he think he's like, he has researched why all these things work and like the frame data and everything, as opposed to kind of realizing it works and then building a game plan around it. I feel like his situational awareness is high and he's able to just use these moves in great situations because Game Watch is broken. He is so good at following up. No double jump. Oh, beautiful up B to get Yoshidor farther out. Up air, up air. Gonna go up B. Misses though, so Yoshidor gets turned. Knows the double jump ever is not a true combo though. Oh. Yoshidor tries to nair, be expecting uh, Mia to be aggressive, but then the bomb just punishes the nair and leg. Oh, I love that. I love doing that versus Game Watch. Just going really off stage. Uh oh, no double jump. That's an egg. That's an up B. Great punish by Mia. Not able to get under that and continue the edge guard, though. I'm surprised. Again, great. Like, this is the reason I say Game Watch has the best advantage state in the game, right? He throws out a projectile that is, for the most part, uninteractable because most characters can't do anything about it because their hitboxes aren't fast enough. If Yoshi does decide to down air because maybe it hits through the up air, he either gets hit by another up air in the end, like of the down air, or gets punished directly by a nair or an up B or an up smash. And Mia recognizes exactly that. He's like, okay, here. And then Yoshidora double jumps and he's like, up air, up air, up air forward air, because maybe, maybe Yoshidora will throw a button. And then he doesn't, he directional air dodges, and then sees that and forward tilts. Because there was no correct option there for Yoshidora, other than don't double jump where he double jumped. Great timing on that forward air. But like, Game Watch's advantage state is absurd, and also it is like almost no risk. Like that's the thing, is I feel like a lot of other characters that have really good advantage states, like Aegis, right? They can at least mess up and be like, oh, I double jump up air, did they fast fell air dodge, then hit me before I landed, and then you can get hit, no double jump and die, right? Game & Watch just up airs from the ground in full hop height because there's no reason to ever do it at any other height. Both characters hella at death percent. But like, look how low risk this was. Again, just to make, like, I'm again, Mia's got like, and I'm not and I'm not complaining about that, but it's like up air, up air, up B, still below, can just fast fall, goes for back air instead, but could have just fast fell to center with zero counterplay. And then back dashes, raw forward air because he saw Yoshidora jump. And then Yoshidora wins a game that I don't want to watch because the video's been kind of long. So Yoshidora's advantage starting really early. That's up B. And again, that's the that's the icing on top, right? Is if you're in disadvantages of game watch, you can just like down air off stage and then recover. Forward tilt trading with forward air. Is Mia gonna get a kill off of that? No shot, right? Oh my god, he might, he literally might. There's up air, forward, the forward tilt missed. But like look how much damage he got off of a tr random trade. So the fort, like, he's already in advantage. Right? He hits him with uh Nair at 35. Gets put to like 70. And then, in advantage, he forward tilts. It trades with forward air. So again, he got hit at 35. And is able to get this much more damage. 60% advantage state. Almost no risk. Oh, we go forward tilt because the air dodge. Yeah, that forward air is... That was great by me. A great edge guard. Like... His, like, I don't know, Mia's so solid, and he's not going for, like, these super hard reads. He's just playing really, really solid and just limiting the options and being patient and waiting until Yoshidora does something to then get him another hit. And, like, he messed up there. Like, he was supposed to, I think, turn around in forward air? Or something? I don't, I don't even know. Maybe, like, a nair that probably would have hit? He took a lot of damage for it. Nice forward air. Because again, he's forward airing here mostly to like cut off either Yoshidora air dodging to ledge or air dodging to the stage. Mia's DI is also incredible. I feel like he's living a lot longer than I expect a game and watch to live. What the fuck just happened? That was the video. He's living at 110 with max rage on Yoshi? And then he just dies to the up B. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. The SDI is super good by Yoshidora, but again, just trying to aggressively get out of the corner and look at how much damage he's gonna take for it. Down throw, double up air, did fucking 36? Why? Nair? Like, look at this advantage. He's just playing so solid and then sometimes throwing out moves that are just high option coverage moves like that back air. 
Naring the down air just for free because it's moves disjointed for some reason. Like, I'm not even like bitching about Game Watch that hard. I'm just like, his advantage seems crazy. Like, that is just a fact. I'm not like complaining. I'm just like, wow, it's so good. Uh, Mia is so good. Again, clearly, Mia, with his recent results, is the second best player in Japan. I think maybe, honestly, like that set, like in terms of like potential, maybe seal it. Obviously, I don't think Yoshidora has gone to as much or has been doing quite as well recently, even though he's obviously amazing. But Mia, right now, clearly the second best player in Japan, which means he's pretty highly ranked in the world because Japan's the best country. You want to learn more about that? Check my next video. I'm going to be talking about Japan and why it's better than the US and like it's better than North America as a whole. They're better. Broken. It's crazy. So, yeah, insane. Mia's so good. I'm gonna be making a ranking video of like my top 10 players probably, so be on the lookout for that as well. Going into the summer of Smash, it'll be fun.